Good morning, everybody. Praise God, we made it through another week and uh, we are looking forward to the weekend. And uh, a, it is a long weekend at that. And uh, uh, we pray that uh, all of us will have a restful one. Amen. In uh, social distancing meditation this morning, I'd like to open the Bible in uh, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verse 38. And uh, I'll read for you. It says, stay awake and pray so that you won't enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. How to fight temptation. Do you all know that there is a constant battle that is going on in our mind? It is a continuous battle between your mind, body, and spirit. As much as you say that you love the Lord, but you are tempted almost every time that you try to do the right thing. There is always something that comes to your mind or life to bring some distraction. Even the Apostle Paul said it in the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 21. So I find this law at work, although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. In this verse that we just read for you, it is Jesus talking to the disciples at the hours right before he was arrested to go to the cross. Jesus is giving the disciples and those of us that have accepted him as our Lord and Savior, the formula or the recipe, if you will, on how we can win the battle against temptation. We so often underestimate our own weakness. We know that we want to do, we know that what we want to do and be, but so often we fall short of that. Our intentions are good, but our follow through is flawed. Thank God for his grace. We can rely on the Holy Spirit to strengthen us and help us in our time of needs. We rarely see the failings in our character until we are tested. See, Jesus asked his disciples to watch and pray with him, but they dozed off. But by surrendering to a small temptation, they lack the spiritual strength to fight off the much greater one that was soon to come. The disciples gave in to the weakness of the flesh and fell asleep. And as a result, they were not prepared to support Jesus during his trial and crucifixion. Our flesh is very weak in nature without the power of the Holy Spirit. Our natural capabilities will fail every single time that we face temptation. So we need a divine infusion of persistence and endurance from the Holy Spirit in order for us to stand against temptation. With the Spirit, we have the ability to defeat any temptation as it is said in 1 Corinthians 10 13 no temptation has come upon you except what is coming to humanity but God is faithful brothers and sisters he will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able but with the temptation he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to bear it the great temptation of the disciples at that moment was to deny Christ under the influence of fear. And so our, our Lord gives here the true solution against temptation as out of every kind. It is for us to watch and pray. Watch against the skill and elusiveness of the of the devil or or, or, or men the, and, and prayer for you to get divine help to overcome whatever is being thrown at you. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Here our, our Lord graciously find excuses for the disciple. It is as though he said, I know, I know that in, in, in your heart and mind, you are ready to follow me to the end, even though the Jews should threaten you with death. But I know also that the flesh is weak. Pray then, 
the Lord says that the weakness of the flesh does not take over the strength of the spirit that is in you. Jesus was getting ready to be betrayed and crucified. He went into the garden to spend some time in prayer, knowing that what he was about to face, he would need supernatural strength from above. He told the disciples to pray with him. When he came back from praying for an hour, he found the disciples sleeping. That's when Jesus spoke to them those words from our verse this morning. Jesus told his disciples in this verse two things that a person must do to avoid falling into temptation. The first is to watch. When a person is watching, he is alert to what is going on around him. He knows when there is trouble in the horizon. As you watch, you will see when temptations start to uh, arise, start to creep up on you. You will know trouble when it arrives. At that point, you can turn and run away from it. If you are not watching, you will not see it coming and, and will fail into will fall into temptation and sin every single time if you are not watching you won't see it until it overtake you brothers and sisters the second thing jesus is prescribing here is to pray when a person pray his focus is on god all his attention is directing toward the lord you, when your attention is focused on God, you will not focus on yourself and sinful habits. You will not be looking at the world and, and, and what the world has to offer. During times of prayer, God can fill you with his Holy Spirit to give you strength to turn away from all sin, all temptation. God can reveal to you the ways to get away from the temptation that you are facing or you will face today. If you if we will take a survey of every Christian that is in the whole world, you will we, we can determine that most believers will easily state that they do not do not want to sin. Their heart's desire is in the right place, but their sinful nature gets in the way. Most will fall to the desires of the flesh. Brothers and sisters, God is spirit. Your spirit need to be in tune with God's spirit to walk the correct path. Allow your spirit to stay aligned with God's spirit. Allow God's spirit in you to control your flesh and desires. Do not allow yourself to fall into temptation. Stay awake and alert and focus on God. Allow God to help you to be able to flee from temptation. Do not fall into the trap of the enemy. And the only way you can do that is when you are walking in the spirit. I don't know what any of you are facing or will be facing today, but the Lord is either giving us a warning or preparing us for what to come. I pray today that God will help each and every one of us under the sound of my voice to watch and pray. Notice that in the in the verse, Jesus is not telling the disciples to watch or pray. He's telling them to watch and pray, meaning you cannot do one without the other. If you are only watching, it's likely you will miss something and fall into temptation. If you are only praying, it's likely you will miss something and fall fall into temptation. If you are watching and praying as Jesus is asking us to do today, no temptation would overwhelm us as it is said in the word. Our enemy is not giving up on us, so you and I cannot give up on watching and praying. We have to continually, continually, continually watch and pray as the enemy is prowling like a roaring lion looking to see whom it may devour you and i must continuously watch and pray so that we don't fall into the trap of the enemy watch and pray my brothers and sisters today amen let's pray father we just thank you we give you praise we give you glory and honor lord god thank you for those words 
thank you, O oh God, that you're really giving us this great reminder that we need to watch and pray. We need to watch and pray because the enemy is watching us and, and waiting to when we fall, when we drop our guard so he can come and overtake us with temptation, with sin, Lord God. Father God, we pray this morning that you will help us, oh God, to apply those words into our lives, oh God, so we could live holy lives that you want us to live, Lord God. Be with us today, Lord God, and, and we thank you again for, oh God, those, those words, oh God. Help us, oh God, to, oh God, not just hearers, but doers of the word, Lord God. So we give you our day and the rest of the weekend and the week ahead, Lord God, and we pray, O oh God, that you will help us to continue to meditate, O oh God, on those words, Lord, and do what it says to do, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We give you glory and honor, Lord, we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you for joining me. I pray that uh, you were blessed by those words. And if you, would, if you were, please share it with someone that you know can use this blessing today. And uh, this encouragement and this reminder from the Lord, from God's word. We, we pray that you will have a great and blessed weekend and uh, an awesome day, productive day, and a safe day in God's divine protection. I love you with the love of the Lord.